This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruski. Featuring retired FBI special agent Jennifer Coffindaffer. Sean Diddy Combs, the investigation continues as of our recording. No arrests made as of yet, but there's a lot of people digging into the past of Diddy. The past of relationships, lovers, partners, one of them being Kim Porter, who's the mother, actually, of three of Diddy's children. She died in 2018 uh, in her mid to late 40s uh, of low bar pneumonia. And I believe uh, cardiac arrest is what took place uh, in that. It was ruled natural causes. And that was that. People looking back on this now uh, and saying, hmm, maybe there's something else that was going on here. You got to consider this is someone who knew a lot about Diddy. They were partners, three kids together, lived together. She knew the ins and outs of his life, as did other people like Cassie, who we just saw recently settled with him in a civil lawsuit. And my God, the accusations there. Uh, One has to assume the lifestyle of Diddy probably didn't suddenly change after Kim Porter's death. I'm going to guess it probably existed before that as well. Maybe with Kim Porter. Joining me to discuss, Jennifer Coffin, after retired FBI special agent. What do you think on this one? Is this it's a bunch of smoke and nothing there? It's just kind of a convenient thing for everybody to look at and go, this is crazy. Maybe there is something. Or uh, or, or are we looking at a, another investigation that should uh, be reopened? Well, I think it would be remiss not to reinvestigate the circumstances surrounding her death. Mm-hmm. Period. End of story. That, that must take place. But this is the thing. I truly believe that because uh, his uh, ex who really brought all of these charges that I think in at least in part are the reason we're here today with search warrants on Diddy's homes. Listen, she's going to be fully cooperating with federal officials Mm -hmm. Uh, just because she reached a settlement. The settlement will not preclude her from full cooperation. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get to know everything that's happening now, more recent. So I think for that reason, uh, Porter and that situation, although it would provide a lot of historical uh, information, you know, and if certainly he is tied to that in any way, that would just be jaw dropping. Uh, So they should look into it, Tony, but I haven't seen any smoking guns Mm. saying that he is involved in any way in that. And they probably have so much real time information now with this, but certainly they need to look into it. Yeah, I mean, it's a totally different investigation if they ever do open up another one on this. Obviously, we have the sex trafficking uh, allegations. Uh, and uh, the the research that they're doing into that and there, I was surprised by somehow Donald Trump Jr. is involved in this. Actually, his ex-wife, yeah. Vanessa Trump, is the one who had uh, been very vocal about this. They had been friends. Her and Kim Porter had been friends and uh, speaking uh, to some publications saying, yeah, that uh, she was afraid of Diddy. Uh, back in those days, uh, and uh, there was some undisclosed negative aspects of that relationship. You know, it, it, it's hearsay. It, it's just someone saying, this is what my friend was telling me back then, but is that enough to open this up? And and I don't know what the status is of Kim Porter's body. I don't know if there is a body anymore, if she was cremated. Uh, if we don't have a body, is there is there much that really can be done at this point? I think it would be extremely difficult if she's been cremated. Now, I don't know if she has been, as you mentioned, uh, cremated or whether she was buried. They could certainly exhume the body, but I don't know how much information that is really solid other than people's concern. and, And it makes a lot of sense when you look at somebody with these types of allegations against him with a history going so far back, it it makes sense that he might want to have been involved. Mm -hmm. But again, you look at the Emmys report, uh, that is strong evidence that he wasn't involved. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to undo an Emmys report if it was done uh, correctly. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily fit a pattern for him if there was a murder that actually did take place here. It seems he settled most things with uh, with NDAs. Um, so why why would he have if they wanted to if he wanted her out of his life, why not do an NDA and call it a day, give her some money and and do that? Why would he go to the length of 
of this, if that's in fact what happened. That's a big if. Yeah, I agree with you. That's just not his modus operandi. That's not yeah. how he handles his problems. He handles mm-hmm. his problems with NDAs and a lot of cash. Mm-hmm. And up until now, it's worked. Uh, yeah. But, you know, the, the feds, uh, they are stomping through all of that evidence they have. And I truly believe that there will be charges within the next six months or so. Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what those charges exactly are. And if, if murder is one of them, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's because it, it, it's, it's so it gets confusing. It's a very gray area when someone who's allegedly been up to a lot of uh not good behavior and you see these little signs like this is kind of weird not everything though means it's a crime if it's a little bit weird i think that's what we need to remember on this one well we just discussed chad daybell right Mm -hmm. initially they said oh his wife just died natural causes and you know and then look at what happened when they exhumed her body Uh uh-oh suffocation Mm -hmm. so again sometimes when you go backwards and look you may just find a crime. Sick of the ads? We are too. Start listening with no commercials now and get access to all of our episodes in advance of everyone else. Become a True Crime Today Premium Plus subscriber on Apple Podcasts. Search True Crime Today Premium Plus on Apple Podcasts or go to our podcast page and sign up now. True Crime Today Premium Plus. Sign up now.